Hello, so today we're just going to kind of show a bit of a demo of some of the pedals that I've got on my pedal board at the moment. I'll just talk you through some of those, uh, just point down to the pedal board. So over here we have the, the uh, Jim Dunlop Crybaby Wah. This is an analog delay, I can't even make out what make it is. You can probably see it's got a weird kind of logo on it. It's a bit indecipherable, it looks like um, MY. MYR or MYS. Um, it's just kind of um, one that hadn't even been reviewed on Amazon when I picked that up. Here we've got the Donna. Um, it's basically the mod square pedal, which basically you can scroll between two different types of chorus, flange, tremolo, rotary, vibrato, and and um, well, flange. Did I say flange already? Oh, phaser, sorry, that's phaser there, and that's flange at the end there. So lots of variations that you can have on the pedals, but I'm, I've been using it predominantly recently as a chorus pedal or a flange pedal. It seems to excel at those two things. The other, some, some of the other settings are not so great. This is um, the Coco Vibe, which is basically like a, a, a Leslie Sim, Leslie Simulator, Leslie Speaker, like, a, like you get on the old Hammond B3 organs. Um, that's just a tuner, the click tiny tune, and here we have the trusty uh, Ibanez tube screamer, and this is the new boy in the uh, on the board. This is the Orange Burst Overdrive, which is allegedly um, a bit of a knockoff from the BB preamp, which a lot of the um, studio musicians in America like to use. And then this is my trusty um, Boss Super Phaser. And then over here, this is basically uh, the loop station, which I've been using. And then you've got your power brick over there. Okay.